Hey, what's going on? It's Mr. Garth Reed here. And today we'll be looking at a CSEC mathematics question from the January 2021 past paper. All right. And the topic here is congruent figures. Okay. So we have a question here which says that the diagram below shows two pentagons, P and Q, drawn on a grid made up of squares. I see, you can see the diagrams below, they are labeled P and Q. And they ask us some questions here. The first part of the question says, select the correct word from the following list to, to complete the statement below. All right, so Pentagon P is dash to Pentagon Q, and that's one mark. And the second part of the question says, give the reason for your choice above, all right? And that's also one mark. So this is a two marks question in total. Okay, let's do the first part. It says to select the correct word from the following list to complete the statement below. So they're saying that Pentagon P is what to Pentagon Q? So is the Pentagon P opposite to Pentagon Q? Is it reflected to Pentagon Q? Is it congruent to Pentagon Q? Or is it translated to Pentagon Q? What do you think? All right, so observe the diagram carefully. And what can you tell? Well, the answer here is that Pentagon P is congruent, is congruent to Pentagon Q, all right? Pentagon P is congruent to Pentagon Q, and they ask us to give our reason. Now, why did I say that Pentagon P is, is congruent to Pentagon Q? Well, if you look carefully at both diagrams there, you can clearly see that both of the pentagons have the same shape, all right? They are pentagons, so they have the same shape, and they are also of the same size, all right? So you recognize that the size and the shape of these figures are the same, right? And that is what makes it congruent. So my reason is going to be congruent figures, all right, congruent figures have the same, have the same, shape, they have the same shape and size, okay? And that is my reason, all right? So this is, this is how you would get your two marks. Very simple question, all right? So you should remember that congruent figures have the same shape and size, all right? And that is what they were looking for with this question. I really hope that it was helpful. And if it was, please ensure to like of the video, comment down below, all right? And also subscribe to the channel. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica. And I'm also a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.